we're doing what we call our PMS. It's a preventative maintenance service, our yearly cleaning and maintenance for the upcoming winter. We do a boiler inspection back in the boiler if we need to. The chimney base, we always inspect to make sure there's no debris in the chimney base. Make sure occasionally you get a brick. We have found bird's nests. This is a, there you go. Now you couldn't have planned that in a million years. The first part of it, what usually I do, is clean the boiler, vacuum the boiler, inspect the, the passageways, uh, brush them down if need be, then go further down to the burner. This is for the most part why we do recommend having the boilers cleaned once a year. This way here, if there is a problem. Now in the case of our little furry friend that we took out of the chimney, um, that would certainly cause a blockage uh, diminishing the draft and then what happens is that boiler will start to back up and sit up. Alright, boiler done. This is the burner. This is where your flame comes from. The basic parts of the burner, you have your transformer that gives you the spark. If this, if this goes bad, of course, there will be no spark. Transformer could be bad. This is the cat cell relay. The cat cell relay can go bad. This is just a typical motor, oil burner motor. Uh, that could go bad. Over here is your fuel oil pump. This could possibly go bad. This here is a firematic valve. It is a spring-loaded valve with a, the lining inside the handle is lead. If in the unfortunate event that there was any kind of fire, the lead melts, the valve snaps closed. It's a safety issue. Underneath the fuel tank, there's another one of the safety valves, just to shut the oil off from coming out of the tank then leads to the filter. Typically, if there's not a problem with the tank, uh, you have a clean tank. This will last all season. If you have an older tank, and we notice that we're changing a lot of filters and such, uh, we might make a recommendation to the customer about possibly thinking about changing their tank. The last thing you do with a cleaning, this is a combustion efficiency tester. Uh, this helps you set up the fire. And it also, at the end result, gives you your efficiency of how the burner is burning. In the back, on the chimney itself, on the smoke pipe itself. And what this is actually telling you is you have a, uh, a 0.04 draft, which is an updraft, which is what you're looking for, which is right on the money. This is a smoke tester. What you're doing is you're drawing through here, out of the chimney, out of the smoke pipe, uh, to draw the, the uh, gases that are going up the chimney. Our reading, which is actually right dead center here, is zero. If, if you had any situations where it was uh, dark or black, then you have to adjust the air on the burn to give yourself a little bit more air. Next test, what you're doing is you're taking the gases out of the chimney, mixing it with the fluid, to give you your gas reading on a scale here. When you match that across with the temperature, which we'll take next, that'll give you a burning efficiency. At the end of the whole process, we make sure that we have a uh, good draft, and we always fire it off to make sure that we have proper draft, proper operation. We offer service contracts, which majority of the parts on the boiler are covered under that contract uh, and also the yearly maintenance is part of that. Of course I'm in the oil business, I'm a professional, it's my business to uh, serve the customer and uh, at Hilltop that's what we try to do. It's a, uh, a family business and I, I actually like working more for a family business than a, a corporate organization.